Akıldan kalbe indirmezseniz bir anlamı yok. Doktor Zakia, is there any limitation to the sins that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala can accept our tawba for? As far as Allah's forgiveness is concerned and His mercy is concerned, every surah, every chapter of the glorious Quran, it begins with the beautiful formula, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Every surah except for chapter number nine, Surah Tawbah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, in Surah Zumar, chapter number 39, verse number 53, that, O oh my servants who have transgressed against their souls, despair not the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For Allah can forgive all sins. Allah is of forgiving and most merciful. Here Allah says that whatever your sin may be, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He can forgive any of your sins as long as you repent. If you repent the right way and if you ask forgiveness, Allah will inshallah forgive you. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, it's mentioned in the hadith of Ibn Majah, hadith number 4251. The beloved Prophet said that every son of Adam, he commits sin. And the best is the person who repents. If you commit sin, no problem. But if you repent, then you're the best person. Repentance is very important. It's mentioned Hadith of Tirmidhi, Hadith number 3540, where the beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said that Allah says, O son of Adam, you may do any sin, and I will forgive all your sins, even if your sin reach to the clouds in the sky, I will forgive them. You ask me for mercy, and I will forgive you. It's for the mission hadith of Sayyid Muslim, hadith number 6246, that the beloved Prophet said, that Allah says, even if you do sin day and night, and ask for forgiveness, I will forgive you. You ask me for pardon, and I will forgive you. It's mentioned in Sayyid Bukhari, bound number 8, hadith number 5999, there were some prisoners of war who were released, mainly children and women. And one lady, she searches for a son, and she cannot find a son. The moment she sees any child, she breastfeeds the child. Then another child she sees, she breastfeeds the child. Finally, she finds her own child. So the Prophet asked the Sahabas that when this woman finds her son, even if he has done a sin, then will she throw the sun in the fire. They said, no. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves his servants, even if they commit sin, more than the lady loves the child. So based on this, we realize that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is willing to forgive any of your sin as long as you repent. And just a last quotation, Allah says in the Quran, and in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 48, that if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pleases, he can forgive any sin. But the sin of shirk, he'll never forgive. Here it means that if a person does shirk and repents before he dies, before the death rattle, inshallah Allah will forgive even the sin of shirk. If he repents and comes to the straight path and believes in one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, believes in Tawheed, Allah will even forgive him his sin of shirk, which is the biggest sin. But if he dies as a mushrik, after he dies, Allah says here that he will not forgive the sin of shirk. Any other sin, if he wishes, he may forgive, but the sin of shirk, he'll never forgive. Shirk is the biggest sin. From here we come to know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful and is willing to forgive the sins of his servants. Subhanallah. Indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most merciful. İslami tebli bildiğiniz üzere her Müslümanın görevidir. Görevinizi bu videoyu beğenip paylaşarak yerine getirebilirsiniz. Tek bir tıklama ile İmanlara vesile olabilirsiniz. Unutmayın, vesile olan yapmış gibidir.